Good evening and welcome back. Golf caddy Boy Daga says he's given up hope of reviving golf in his community of Kailicha on the Cape Flats. Last year, eSport brought you the story of the 51-year-old who was on a mission to develop the game in the area. But ever since the Amy Beal Foundation's driving range has been turned into a drug den, Daga's dreams have been shattered. Boy Daga takes us through a day in the life of training young golfers. He says that interest in the pastime has dwindled over the years due to the appalling state of the Kailicha driving range. The venue, which cost the Amy Beale Foundation over 2 million rand in 2001, is now used as a hideout for drug dealers and users. While the foundation has refused to speak on the latest developments about their project, this is what the managing director Kevin Chaplin had to say a year ago. The city of Cape Town has come to the to rescue and said, right, we're going to partner with Amy Beale Foundation. And we've got a nice uh, strategy going now where we're pulling in the players. We've got different partners coming on board now, the Western Province Golf Union, and we're hoping to have it up and running again in 2013. 2013. But Daga says he has heard these promises all before. It's empty promises because we, as we are here today, there's nothing happened. As you see, I came with my equipment, I came with my guys. Uh, also, if I can get a, a transport, there's more kids. I train them golf, also uh, ladies. When Boy Daga was given this golfing equipment, it was hoped that he would revive the sport in the community of Kailicha. But those hopes seem to be fading away, as there's no sign that this golf driving range will be up and running anytime soon. The Western Province Golf Union says the Amy Beale Foundation could get assistance if they need it. The best opportunity, I think, that the Amy Beale Foundation need to get in touch with the South African Golf Development Board, because they are responsible for development in our region. We have signed a strategic partnership with them, a strategic memorandum of understanding. Golf is still by and large a minority sport in South Africa. Boy Daka is on a drive to change this perception. But should he achieve this objective one day, he will need more than just this equipment to help develop the next Tiger Woods. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.